Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tested. Today I will show you a project management tool that's called Planner. It's quite a simple project management tool if you compare it with tools like, for example, MS Project um, is a bigger one. Um, but I think for many needs uh, it's quite good. So at least for me, um, yeah, it does the job and maybe it will for you. Okay, what do we have here? We have multiple views. The most important one, I think, is a Gantt chart um, where you have your tasks lined up. Um, we don't have tasks right now. We will create a few just in a moment. Um, you will see your tasks then um, on a timeline. This is a message from my windows, which we can close. Second view is your tasks in table form, uh, which I find not quite helpful. Um, you can have resources. So if you're on a project and probably there are more than one person, there's more than one person there, uh, you want to manage your resources, your, your team. And last but not least, you have the resource usage. That's where you can see how much of the time of your resources, that is of your team members, uh, they already spend in tasks. So let's say, for example, you have four tasks, which one team member is working at, at the moment, uh, then you want to split the workload of this person. Okay, let's start at the GAN view and this is again my Windows message which, which comes which is quite annoying now. Um, I don't care. Do not show this message again. Okay, sorry for the delay. Now if we want to create a new task you will do a right click and insert the task. You can also do that by clicking on the insert task button and what this will do now is create a new task which we can name and let's say we're creating a what's our project maybe that's a birthday we want to plan of course you can plan anything anything you like and um, the default setting is that the task will start today so today is the 20 1st of December um, that's the project start and if you if we want to um, change the duration of the task birthday we can again make a right click and edit the task and set the work we can also set that to a fixed duration we have to check uh, the fixed duration check box if we want to do that but work is also okay so let's say Maybe that's three days and you see how the bar of the birthday task just uh, got bigger. Okay, that's the first thing you can do, just add tasks. And as I said, you can view your tasks in the task view and you will see start, finish, work, duration. Yeah, just the same basically as in the Gantt chart view. So far so good. Now what's more interesting is if you have tasks related to each other and subtasks also. So let's say um, one step is buying a birthday present. Now we can say that is part of our task birthday and to make planner uh, realize that we want to indent the second task. So we select the task which we already have and click on indent task and what happens now is our birthday task became automatically became the parent task for our buying a present task. Um, that's quite handy because now you see uh, the black bar over our buying a present bar. The black bar is our birthday bar 
and birthday task. So every task you add under as subtasks, uh, a subtask of the birthday task uh, will be under the black bar here. I will show you what I mean right now. Let's insert a second task and this one, what do we have to do? Buying a present, um, buying some food could also be good for a birthday party. And again, this is now the same hierarchy as birthday. So what we want to do is indent this one too. So we click on indent. You can also unindent. It's just a button uh, beneath. Okay, indent the task. And now you see both tasks are under our birthday task. And when it comes to Gantt chart, uh, what's most interesting about it is to see the order of your tasks. So more often than not in a project, you have multiple tasks ordered and you want to say if task one finish finishes, then task two starts. So that's what we will do right now. Assuming that we have to buy a present first before we can buy some food. That might not also always be the case, but in our example case it is. So we select the second task, right click, edit task. Now you have some tabs here. Uh, the first one, general tab, I showed you before. You have a resources tab, which we cannot assign a resource here because we haven't created one yet. And you have the predecessor ta tab. Of course you have some notes, but those are not so important, at least for me. Predecessors, that's exactly uh, what, I, what I said before. Uh, you want to say which tasks which task is the task before the current one. So we are on buying some food and now we want to add a predecessor and we say that's buying a present and the relation type is finish to start. That means exactly what I said before. Um, the predecessor has to finish before our current task will start. Okay, that's it, finish to start. You have some other options here if you want to start to start maybe you want to have parallel tasks and start them both together um, yeah but we want to f uh, select finish to start here click ok and you see what happened is our tasks got connected through the arrow and now we have first task buying a present second buying some food and that's our order and you see the black bar birthday um, is, yeah, just got enlarged uh, over our second task. If we were to add a third one, now that black bar would also spend the third one. Okay, now you of course can adjust the duration or the work of your of your tasks. Now, if we say we buy a lot of food and that three days of work close that and now you see our project starts today and will end on the 26th of December. So I think it's a quite a good way to get an overview over your project and order your tasks, um, categorize them if you want to have some subcategories also. I think you can uh, you can go deeper in the hierarchy if you like to. Let's say buying some food is a present, then we could indent this one. Okay, we cannot, maybe because we have uh, connected them. Let's just try it, unlink and indent it. Yeah, that worked. So now we would have a third uh, category and yeah just works the same. I think you can make as many categories as you like to. Uh, I haven't tried more than three, uh, three, uh, three hierarchies, so to speak, but I guess it works. Okay, unindent. Um, 
we will we want to link them what you can also do um, what's more handy than always right clicking and editing uh, selecting predecessor is you can select the first one just drag this one to the second one and then it will automatically connect them okay I showed you the task view then there are some resources you can add let's insert a resource again right click insert resource you can do the same over the button and I call that one Felix and the second one is Peter so we both are planning a birthday and now we want to assign the resources namely the persons to our tasks and for doing that we go to Gantt chart again um, right click on buying a present assign resources and that's the same you will end up in the resources tab you can also go to right click edit tasks and then resources that's basically the same now you can say Peter buys a present but it's only one of his tasks so maybe it's only 70% of his time I'm buying some food and maybe this is 100% of my time and now if we go to um, resource usage what we will see is the time that Peter and me spend that we both spend on tasks so for me that means in this period I'm 100% planned and Peter is 70% planned so if you were to add multiple tasks and assign a resource to multiple tasks you would uh, quite fast see if you have more than 100% workload on one person and in bigger project you I think you want to track that um, so you can plan your tasks better if you're working alone uh, as I do if I'm planning uh, when I'm planning my projects um, you won't need the resources at least I don't need them so I always uh, create my tasks and I order the tasks um, set the workload or yeah the duration of the tasks so I know what my project length will be okay that's it as you've seen it's quite a simple program but I think it's quite handy if you want to plan smaller projects um, yeah if you like it just comment on the video and I would really appreciate if you would comment on the quality on the sound and video quality of this video because I recently changed from Ubuntu to Windows and trying a new program I think it's called active presenter so just let me know if the quality um, is good enough and yeah that's it for today i hope to see you guys next time uh, have a good time bye